so I made this brand new wedding band that is going to blow your mind. If you love classic elegant jewelry and you notice there's a lot of celebrities who love three stone ring designs, okay? So if you followed me long enough, I've actually done a previous video with a couple that actually did a three stone ring and people that buy three stone rings are always thinking, how can I get a wedding band that's going to sit flush? So don't you dare exiting the video. Make sure you watch it all the way through, like it, share it with a friend, Follow me on Instagram at Buy Bonnie Jewelry and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's dive right in. So you guys know I am the queen of three stone, queen of making things beautiful, seamless, and flush. So I did the Hailey Bieber inspired ring. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. And uh, we did a flush wedding band, even though it was extra low profile. And I posted on Instagram, she wanted a thicker band and I did it. Cause typically you'll see that with other uh, low profile engagement ring, people are having a really hard time on figuring how to get a wedding band that's gonna sit flush, right? So typically you'll see those curve shape band, V shape band. And when I posted it, I got a comment who said, could you create a band for a three stone ring where there wouldn't be any space? Girl, like when I read that, I was like, ding, ding, ding. I was in the process of designing this and I just was blowing my mind and I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know if you've seen, like or you follow my personal page, which is Miss Bonnie Talks. Make sure you go follow that because I share my personal life outside of jewelry. And I was wearing uh, my travel set in Mexico. And so if you guys want to check my page out, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Miss Bonnie Talks. But the idea from the couple is like, okay, we got engaged with this beautiful three stone ring. And of course there are options to come in for wedding band when it comes to three stone ring. I always tell people before they buy the ring, I just remember three stone rings are harder to do a flush wedding band because usually when you have a larger stone, it's very difficult. And I was just kind of talking and then I showed her my travel ring and she was like, oh, wait a minute. That looks interesting. And that's something that I had designed for myself because I wanted a really, really low set for travel. Perfect for you. Initially, she was like hesitant. She was like, oh, let me think about it. And here's the three stone ring. And I said, well, my travel ring is based, my travel band is basically the same thing, except the bar that I had didn't have the diamonds on it. It was just the plain. But I said, hey, you know what? For your glorious ring, let me just design something that would be perfectly flush. So this is what we came up with. An extra, extra low profile emerald cut band. We didn't use super huge diamonds on the band because we really wanted that flush look. Okay, so the craftsmanship is really important here. This is, this takes master, master level of craftsmanship to be able to do two things here. The extra low profile on the band and the fact that it's perfectly flush and we were still able to fit the stone and set the diamonds and let me just show you guys something that you probably haven't seen on the market anywhere where it's so perfectly flush on the finger look at look at that and you a lot of times where you'll see other people do is they'll just lift this lift the three stones to create that to create an extra bridge down there but what happens with that is that it actually brings the profile entirely up and that's okay for anything that's a little bit smaller carat but when you look at this with a four and a half carat you really don't want that to be lifted off like very very high right so if you've seen the classic harry winston or graph diamonds you don't really see them lifting it up high and so now we created this perfect flush look for her. I don't know what to say. All I can say is we make dreams come true here at Bye Bonnie. So now she has a dream engagement ring and the super low flush wedding band. And so for her, I also told her, hey, down the line, when you're thinking about if you don't want to take this ring for every day or even travel, and you can, we can now make you another emerald cut uh, low profile engagement ring, then you will have two ways to wear this wedding band, right? Which is with her original three stone ring, plus a potential travel ring that's gonna be super low profile that she can just like tuck in. And now she can wear a different type of ring. It doesn't have to be an emerald cut. So for example, now she has this set, right? And she's like, okay, for my travel ring, I want something smaller, different, whatever it is. So let's pair this with 
for example, a 2.5 karat round diamond solitaire to go with the emerald cup band that has this. So now what you do is you still have this band and you slide this six prong on, boom. See that? You can pair it with any other shape. From the top, you're not really gonna be able to see much of that. You can also wear it with an oval. Actually, a, this is my north-south prong with tulip. A lot of clients with this band, it's difficult to pair with a large wedding band because of this prong on this side. So this would actually be an amazing solution as well for this design where your prong is actually at north-south where it sticks out a little bit. Check it out. So you have this and again, this band perfectly tucked in with this. You can pair that with a different shape as well. So thank you for my subscriber and followers for raising those awesome questions because it really, it fuels my passion to create, to design. And thank you to my clients for giving me the freedom to say, okay, Bonnie, I just want you to do whatever you want. And sometimes that's when I do my best work is when I have the, is when my clients give me the ability to just create whatever that I think will be beautiful. So congratulations on the w upcoming wedding. Now you have a perfect wedding band to go with this three stone ring and I think that we knocked it out of the park I mean you asked me for something that can be versatile is flush and you can also do a travel I think I hit all check all the boxes so if you guys enjoyed this video this episode make sure you leave your comment below how did I do what other bands you want to see um, if you want to check out three stone design I also made a three stone ring for my mom I think maybe that might be the next shape that I would want to create a band even though my mom I don't know if she's gonna wear a band with it thank you so much for watching my video make sure you subscribe to my channel okay I'll see you in my next episode bye